Okay. So this is take two of my review of the bidet system. I was listening to my first one and realized that I was totally doing that like eternally optimistic Casey review of it. And I promised myself that I wouldn't sugarcoat things with like this whole thing because heaven forbid somebody goes to do this and they're just like, she was not honest about what it was like. Okay, so here's the real deal. Um, it was fucking cold, like really cold, like um, like make make me go <gasps> kind of cold. So uh, that is definitely something if you're not doing a heated system, which requires like replumbing and all that crap um, that you are going to have to deal with. <laughs> my husband's gonna hate it. Um, yeah, and good luck getting my toddler to use this. So we're gonna have to play with that one and figure out how to make it exciting. I don't know. Uh, I'm a little worried. So there's that. Um, now let's turn to the toilet because I do want to show you, uh, some of the backlash <laughs> of spraying your ass. Okay. Um, so I don't know if you can see, uh, you're welcome for flushing before showing you this. Um, there, there was definitely splash on like backsplash on the water or on the toilet seat. What am I saying? There was definitely, um, some splash on that. Uh, I could see that going horribly wrong um you know during some messier situations so uh i'm wondering if it's technique or if it's just a new way of life um for me i'm gonna just like go with it and figure it out um but i can see other people who are a little less tolerant of spray if you will um so so there's that um another thing that i want to point out that i was like trying to sugarcoat last time but it is something that a lot of folks have said like man i wish i didn't have to do this but it is now a new reality is that um every time you're done using the handheld bidet system you have to turn off this valve right here um, i already turned it off and and like discharged the the sprayer so it's like you turn off the valve and then you oh yeah so you just like get the rest of the water out of the sprayer and um that way you don't like blow out an o-ring or literally speaking uh it might also happen on high pressure i'm not really sure um so yeah there's that so so with that said you know there's like people that had reviews of um flooding and things like that um so that is probably like my biggest biggest concern i'm not really worried about anything else um, I am worried about a flood. So that's why we're on the downstairs basement first. So if it floods, it just goes into the basement and you know, we deal with that. Um, so in the meantime, I'm going to be keeping my Pyrex dish there just in case. Um, the last thing I want to show you, just in case I choose not to show you the live action shot of me trying this thing for the first time is my setup that is going to end up being like a way cuter situation, but right now it's just kind of a pile, but, uh, I've got cloth wipes that are actually repurposed cloth um, diaper wipes. And, um, and then this uh, spray, a cleaning spray, that I used on both of my infants, um, you know, with them being in diapers uh, instead of commercial wipes. And it's, um, you know, it's made up of all natural essential oil hippie shit. So I will put the um, recipe for that in the comments section in case you're interested. Uh, anybody can make it and you don't have to like go to the liquor store for the cleaning products which is really nice so um anyway yeah so that's the that's the first attempt and i will keep you updated as things change or progress or whatever um and yeah so excited to see how this goes round one boom